I don't know if it's gonna end up being good or bad. Opening some new gear. Started watching Sketchy Farm and Sketchy Micro. A lot of meetings today, kind of busy. We're having a match ceremony today, so it's really exciting. So I'm happy to be back in school. Hello, good morning. It's Sunday. It's the last day of spring break, so last day to enjoy my freedom. Time to get back into school mode and um, getting ready for the quiz on Monday and all that stuff. Spring break ended up going by pretty fast. I did do like a little bit of studying, I feel like every day of spring break pretty much, which I don't know if it's gonna end up being good or bad because I don't know if I'm gonna feel like I didn't really have a break or I'm gonna feel like better prepared for this block ahead because I've been doing a little bit of like priming and stuff for endo. I've also been running through Anki cards through the Anking deck just to try and keep some of the things we learned recently um, still in my head and it's crazy to see how fast I forget things. So I'm going to start off today by just doing some Anki and um, I started reading a new book. I was going to try and finish this before spring break but as you can tell I'm nowhere near and I have the rest of the day only. So yeah, I'm just gonna do some Anki later review for the quiz tomorrow and um, there's not much else. Also, I got the new Harry Potter game and I would be lying if I said I wasn't gonna play it today. At school, we did a surgery on a cow. Hello, it's Monday. We had our first donor lab today doing head and neck this block. So we dissected the neck and learned about all the different muscles and innervations there. It was um, pretty interesting. I think it's also because it's the first day back, so it was exciting to just be back into the swing of things. It was really exciting just to see everybody again and see where they went for break and just catch up. We're also doing endocrinology this block, so I had one lecture, or I stayed for one lecture for an hour for intro to endocrinology endocrinology and I have two more hours that I didn't stay for that I have to watch later because I decided to go to the gym instead and we're expecting a big snowstorm tonight so they already canceled school for tomorrow so all of tomorrow's lectures are recorded as well so I just have a ton of recorded lectures to watch now which is fine. I've been working on my research abstract for a couple of weeks now and this is the week to submit now and so I'm making the final corrections. I had um, one of the doctors provide feedback and so I'm going to implement his feedback now and then show it back to the team and then hopefully submit everything by the deadline this week. So that's exciting. It's already 9 p.m. I'm gonna work for a couple of hours until I get tired and just see how much I get done and then I'll see you guys tomorrow during the snow day. Levetalol is another parenteral beta blocker used in the acute setting. Remember though that Levetalol... Now that we're in head and neck, opening some new gear. Hello, happy snow day. I got through an hour of lecture so far. I have an hour left in this lecture in the HPA axis, and then after that I have I don't know how many more hours of lecture I didn't check yet. Uh, went to the gym today for like an hour and a half in all the snow. I just had a lot of motivation to work out recently, so I've been taking advantage and going to the gym pretty much every single day, which has been great. Now I feel like super tired. <laughs> I could sleep right now. I'm gonna finish this last hour, maybe do some Anki cards in between the lectures as like a break, and then get back to the rest of the lectures. <laughs> So it might be super early for this, but I started watching Sketchy Farm and Sketchy Micro and also physio videos just to help like supplement the lecture material that I have. And I like keeping track of the videos that I watched and the Anki cards that I did. So I found these really cute like guides to all the Sketchy Farm, Sketchy Micro and uh, pathoma videos, but we don't really have like a ton of pathology right now, so I'm mostly focusing on this. I'm not sure who designed this, but all credits to this person because it's so organized and at the same time, like, just so aesthetically pleasing. And then I also downloaded 
physio and then also the boards and beyond one I figured uh, since I'm already doing them I might as well just keep track of it now and then have this all organized when I'm actually specifically preparing for um, step and complex I just like having it all organized all together and knowing what I've already watched and what cards I've done hi it's Wednesday the week's going by pretty fast we had clinical skills today got to use the ophthalmoscope and otoscope which was really cool so we were looking in each other's eyes and ears and just kind of getting an idea of how they work and all the different light switches and all that stuff. I'm gonna head over to school now for tutoring for an hour and just review some of the introduction to endocrine stuff just to make sure that I'm understanding everything correctly from the beginning. Then I'm gonna come back, do some Anki, review some of my old notes, watch some sketchy, all the usual stuff. <laughs> I just came back from my gem assignment where me and Rochelle are paired with um, an elderly person in the community and we get to go to their house, we meet them, get to know them, basically get together and chat. There are some assignments that we have to complete where today, for example, we talked about safety at home and while driving and physical exercises that they do. Uh, and so we basically get to know each other and form a relationship and it's just a way for us to learn to interact with the elderly community and just um, get to know their lifestyle and stuff a little bit it's very cool we have a really sweet person and it was really fun just to go over to her house and chat for like an hour and a half so that was a fun morning i'm eating some lunch now and then i'm gonna head back to school have a class officer meeting then i'm gonna have omm and then i'm gonna have an sga meeting a lot of meetings today kind of busy but yeah it's gonna be a productive thursday Hello, it's finally Friday. I'm on my way to school. We're having a match ceremony today, so it's really exciting. I'm excited to see people open their envelopes, find out where they're going, and uh, see everybody celebrate. So hopefully everybody gets a place that they really wanted to go to, and yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun to see. 356 days ago, if you were counting. One piece of advice. Wherever you go, it's what you make of it. And you got it to make of it. back from the gym it's 7 30 friday today was such a fun day and it's just been like a really nice week for whatever reason in general i got to watch match this morning and it was so exciting to see everybody celebrating with their families it was just such a fun atmosphere to be a part of and see what people matched into and where they're gonna go so that was a lot of fun i'm really happy that i got to go and then i missed lectures today that actually reminds me that i have lectures that i need to catch up on now but i went to to donor and we continue to dissect the muscles of the neck and then I also looked at the skull a lot today wasn't really part of the assignment but for whatever reason I decided that I just really want to learn everything I can about the skull today and I learned so much and it was really cool and our spinal cervical surgeon that we had in our pod today talked me through the skull and he was excited about it and his excitement kind of rubbed off on me so yeah it was a really fun anatomy day the last time I felt this happy in anatomy was when we were learning about the heart it's interesting to see that I have a similar kind of interest in the skull in neuro in ortho i don't really know uh what to call it right now but i'm making some dinner and then tomorrow i'm gonna go to boston for my friend's birthday and also saint patrick's day and it's going to be a fun weekend i'm really looking forward to that i'm just really happy i had a really fun week it's been this is the first week back from spring break and i feel like it's been going great so so i'm happy to be back in school let's hope the rest of the block goes the same exact way <laughs> 